The Bluffton University football program just eight days from kicking off its season. The Beavers have been working hard in training camp under new head coach Denny Doral, who replaced Tyson Veit as the team's head coach back in April. The Beavers have gone 15 and 15 over the past three seasons, and Matt Finkel tells us what we can expect out of the 2014 edition of the Bluffton Beaver football team. New head coach Denny Doro has plans to improve on all aspects of the program, both on and off the field. We're trying to affect change not only on this football program, but all throughout the college and campus itself. And our guys are buying into it. Uh, so each day they're improving. I can't ask for anything more than that. And so hopefully that will continue for the rest of the season. Coach Doro is just a really passionate man. He really gets excited about the game of football and really affects us all with that type of change and getting that passion back into us. It's been a pretty good camp this year. Uh, all the guys are working pretty hard this year. and. Um, He's been pushing us uh, a lot harder than we've ever been pushed before. With a new coach brings new wrinkles, so everyone is working hard to be on the same page leading up to week one. It's really a new system for both sides of the ball, and it's got to become more familiar with what we're trying to accomplish out there. And, and uh, instead of thinking about what we're trying to do, it's just got to become a natural reaction. Communication, new defense, new offense, getting those calls out to everybody, making sure we're all on the same page. This year's Beavers do have a lot of experience returning, which should definitely help smooth out the transition to the new system. We have a lot of returning starters and a lot of leadership coming into this year. Um, hopefully that will create a lot of team chemistry and uh, let us fire out of the gates for the year. So I think we have strengths everywhere. Every position has strengths. Um, we're going to come out ready to play this year. We're ready to, to get somebody else in a different color jersey out here. and. Uh, and hit somebody other than ourselves. Defensively, Coach Doro will run a 4-3 and plans to get after the quarterback. On the offensive side of the ball, it's all about pace. It's going to be a very fast tempo. We're going to try to get up and down the, the field as quick as we possibly can. We're going to try to be balanced in what we're trying to do. Um, but, you know, our thing is always going to be getting the ball to our playmakers' hands as quick as possible in many different formations as we possibly can. So hopefully that's what you're going to see on Saturdays. Bluffton opens up at home against Ohio Wesleyan next Saturday, and it should be a fantastic atmosphere at Salzman Stadium. My entire family's coming out, big tailgate party, getting everybody out here and just trying to enjoy these last senior year. My family will be coming out for the games, and then I'm really excited to see all the Memorial fans come out. So You'll see a bunch of passionate young men that are on the field, and you'll see passionate coaches, um, and that's what we're hoping to do is just kind of affect change throughout this whole college and this whole campus. And, uh, you know, we're going to do our part as a football program and hopefully the community and, and the college itself around, uh, rally around us. In Bluffton, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.